Hello everyone, welcome to Apex of Mining channel. This is Wendy. Today we just received the Bitman Interact V2. Yes, it comes packing a sturdy wooden crate. If you order from us, you will receive it in the same way, so no need to worry about damage during shipping. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Okay, now you'll find the split type structure, the cablet and the heat pump. This is the latest hydrocooling solutions from Bitman. Following the popular Antirac V1, it's plug and play and supports up to four classic anti-minor hydro miners, two U miners, or two standard three U miners. Even better, it can also provide versatile heating options. Okay, let's dive in and take a close look at it. When you receive the unit, start by checking all accessories. The inlet and the outlet pipes, which clamps for securing them, used to connect the cabinet and the heat pump. The wood pipes for connecting the miners. Four U3 power adapters for 3U miners. A bag of miscellaneous parts, the manual. Now let's check the inside of the cabinet. First, on the outside. You will notice an emergency stop button and the temperature display panel. Open the cabinet door. On the side, you will see the SN code. You can verify it on Bitman's official website to confirm warranty and the authenticity. At the top, you will find the control switch with the network switch tucked right behind it. Just below is the water distribution pipe. It sends cooling water directs to the miners. Moving down to the rack, it has two levers. Each miner's lot comes with both a power cable and a network port. For classic anti-miner hydro and 2U miners, you can fit up to 4 unions, 2 per level. For 3U water cold miners, 1 per level works perfectly. You can also mix and match. For example, place a 3U miners on top and 2 hydro miners below, depending on your setup. Next is the water connection pipe. It gathers the used cooling water and sends it back. At the bottom is the pump, which keeps the water flowing. At the back, the bottom part has the heat exchanger, and the top part holds the coolant tank. On the top of the cabinet, you also find a water inlet for filling the tank and the power interface. Next, let's move to the heat pump. At the top is the fan for efficient airflow. Below that are the display panel and the indicator lights. Open it to access the dry cooler power switch. You will see two black handles. Pull them together to open. Inside, you will find a dry cooler, compressor, condenser, electronic expansion valve, and the evaporator. Moving to the side, there are two pressure gauges, one for high pressure and one for low pressure. Below them are various pipelines and wire points, which connect to the heating pipes to supply hot water for heating. On the other side for the heat pump, at the top, there's a level gauge used to check the liquid level inside the system. Below that are the inlet and the outlet points that connect to the cabinet for water circulation. That's a quick tour of the Antirac V2, both cooling and heating in one system. Now that we've taken a full look at the product, let's connect the cabinet and the heat pump to show how it operates. Step 1. Connect the cabinet to the heat pump. Cut the wood pipes to your desired length. Wrap the inlet and outlet thread with waterproof 
tape and install the PEP connectors. Then secure the hoses tightly to the connectors using hose clamps. Make sure to attach the top PEP line point of the heat pump to the right side of the cabinet and the bottom point to the left side. Connect each minus inlet and outlet water points carefully, ensuring all pipes are tightly secured. The blue hose is for inlet water and the red hose is for outlet water. Step 3. Add the coolant. Open the top cover of the cabinet and fill the tank with coolant until it reaches the proper level. Step 4. Turn on the cabinet power switch and connect all the wirings and the network cables. Step 5. Connect the dry cooler wiring. Step 6. Turn on the dry cooler switch on the electrical cabinet. Then open the red external wire on the dry cooler. At this point, the dry cooler will start operating. Step 7. Turn on all the power switches inside the cabinet. Once everything is connected and powered on, water starts circulating through the cabinet and the heat pump, keeping your miners cool and stable. Now the Antirac V2 is running in heat dissipation mode. Hot water from the miners flows into the external cooling system, while the built-in radiator and the fan remove excess heat to keep the miners stable. Bitman Antirac V2 not only earns Bitcoin while keeping your miners cool, but also recycles their heat into practical energy for a wide range of facilities, by reusing heat, you can lower the energy cost and achieve a faster return on investment. It's plug and play, easy to use, 
and there was still in application making the perfect solutions for mining Bitcoin. Okay, that's all for today's video. Want to learn more? Scan the WhatsApp QR code on your screen and send me Interact V2. I will answer all your questions. You can also contact me for exclusive discount on other minor products. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and follow Apex to Mining for more updates. Bye bye.